In this exercise, we're going to draw cold water mains from the origin point to the classroom wing, changing the diameter and the offset to the pipes as we draw them. We'll then connect the water heaters to the mains and then draw hot water pipes from those water heaters to the classroom wing. Finally, we'll draw sloped sanitary piping from the floor drains. First thing we need to do is check up on the mechanical settings. So we go to systems and choose the mechanical settings there or we can go to Manage, MEP Settings, and Mechanical Settings. What we need to do in here is check out that the pipe settings and the angles are the correct angles. At the moment, Rether is set to use any angle. We want to use specific angles. So select that option, and here we've got a number of angles that we can use. Now these bottom two I don't really need, so let's take away those, and go OK, and we're ready to go. We're going to run the pipe work across along down the building and then down to the bottom wing and across. So let's zoom in to where the water connector enters the building. Now before we put any of the piping in, we're going to go above this particular level. So what we really need to do is to carry on seeing the pipe as we put it in. We're going to change our underlay and the range base level 2, level 2. This will mean when we actually put our pipe work in above this level, we'll still be able to work on it and see that. So if I right hand click on the water main connector and draw pipe, the first thing I need to do though in this case is change from standard pipe to copper pipe. The connector that we've connected to automatically knows that it's a 200mm and it's domestic cold water. The middle elevation, 750mm. So we'll draw out a little way out from this connector before we change our elevation to the correct elevation. So just go in here, staying in the command, we can change the elevation to 3650 and it will just put that elevation up. Just hit the enter key and then we can draw our pipe down through the building. So we then go to the chase behind the lavatories. Now we'll get to so far down here and we're actually going to change the diameter of the pipe. So from 200 we're going to change it down to 150. Then once we've got past the water heaters and we'll just take this across the building to the other side, that outside wall. And before we get there any further, we're going to change that diameter to 100mm. And we'll be happy to finish this with a 100mm pipe. So carry on down through the other side of the wing and right to the end, just past the last sink unit there. Now if I hit escape here, we actually don't finish the command, we actually finish that particular run, but stay in the pipe command, and you can see that's still running there. So that means I can actually come back to this part of the pipe and run the other side of that wing. Again, pass, just past that kitchen sink. Now if I hit modify, that will actually finish that command. So that's the cold water put in for that particular wing. Now the water heaters here, we need to then connect up into that particular cold water mains. Each one has its uh, connector information, so we actually select one and choose connect into. This will list the connectors available, so the domestic cold water, and we pick the pipe that we want to connect into. So again, select the object, connect into, make sure the right connector is selected, go OK, and pick that particular run of pipe. No worrying about where we connect it to, height and so on, it connects into automatically. Now what we need to do is run the hot water from that particular heat, uh, uh, water heater. So we select this at the bottom one, select the icon where it says out. This is our hot water connector. Now the elevation is right where that connector is, so I need to go up from that. So let's go up to three and a half meters and then we'll just follow this cold water run down to that wing. 
what we will do is when we actually get across to the other side is we're going to change the elevation we're going to change the elevation so it goes right up into the next level so change the elevation in this case I'm going to make the elevation 7150 now, ordinarily if we hadn't changed the underlay we'd actually lose that pipe we don't, wouldn't see that pipe work so now we just follow that pipe down and to the other side of that wing and I'm just going to place this next to the cold water for now and then right down past that last sink unit and again what I do here just hit the escape key allows me to stay in the command but start a new run make sure I connect the hot water at this point as they're very close together and again send this down just past that last sink unit so that's our just hit the modify key and then that's our hot water and cold water put in for that particular wing now if we check up on the next level remember we put the elevation up into that level so here's our hot water that we can see from the level below but it's actually in this level and we can actually see exactly where it came up into this particular level so finally what we need to do now is now to put some sanitary pipe work in for the lavatories on this side in fact we're going to put them in for the floor drains so let's go to a section this makes it a lot easier we've got a section already created called the restroom section there you can see the cold water and hot water in this one and these are the floor drains we're going to connect up into so I select one pick the icon now the first thing I need to do is make sure that we're using sloped pipe here so make sure that uh, we choose a slope but before I do that I've just changed it to standard pipe because we're just going to use this as a placeholder so let's make this a 1% slope and make sure it's sloping down so the pipe type standard as a placeholder the connectors won't be correct at this point but we'll change this in a later video but as we draw down towards the left you can see now we've got a 1% slope in there now again if I hit escape I'll stay in the command and I can actually choose the connector for these floor drains and the actual pipe that we've put into so we're just drawing point to point on each of these so in the next video we're going to actually look at changing or modifying that particular pipe so it's proper sanitary pipe and connectors but there you can see our cold water feed our hot water and our sanitary pipe placeholder already in there thank you